Hi, I'm Joanne. I teach at a Catholic school and I would say I haven't always been as enthusiastic about teaching the faith as I am now, but over the past two years I've really developed a deeper love for our Catholic faith and teaching my students and by seeing their growth in the faith it's excited me even more to get into it. But a little bit about me. I started, I've been teaching for about 11 years. I was out for 18 years raising my own kids. And as a child myself, I went to public schools. Um, I always thought it was interesting that my parents knew everybody at every parish we went to because they went to Catholic schools and they went to Catholic high school. And I felt like I was missing something by the family community they seemed to have. Um, so as my husband and I started having kids and it was time for them to go into schools, we decided to go with Catholic schools. Um, and my one kind of hope and wish was that they would have that family feeling from school. Um, and as they started bringing home homework that had to do with the faith, I realized how much of the faith I had missed as a public school student just having religious ed or CCD classes during the week and seeing their homework excited me and I enjoyed learning with them. As they got older and went into high school and eventually got old enough that I could go back to teaching, I found myself at their Catholic school um, in a resource situation so I was assisting the teachers. A few years after that, I got my chance to be a teacher again and realized I would have to teach religion and felt very um, unprepared for that. But I had a textbook and I could do this. So I would go through the lessons and it was just, it was boring. It wasn't what I really, I felt like I wasn't giving my students enough. Um, and my husband had started reading more um, Catholic literature and doing more things and I started picking up on that and found some really rich history and tradition in that that I tried to bring to my class but I still wasn't there yet it was still another book another subject go through the chapter give a test move on to the next thing um, I think it was a year after I was teaching religion with my fourth graders at the time that I had to take the required religion class for teachers in the elementary school. And I was just so inspired by the high school teacher who was teaching us the class and the different teachers around me that were from the elementary schools that were doing different things in their classroom that I hadn't thought of and went back with a new invigorated feeling about teaching religion. But again, I was still back into here's the textbook, go through the chapters, and I could tell my kids weren't really enjoying it either. Um, shortly after that, my teaching partner and I decided to try this new program at school that really focused on virtues and vices, and I didn't honestly know too much about that. But as we started going through the materials and teaching the kids and um, doing different activities about the virtues and the strengths of the virtues and the vices. I had things open up to me in my faith life as a 53 year old woman that I hadn't before. Um, and I wanted to give that to my kids in my classroom. We wanted to share the saints with the students. We wanted to teach them about our mother Mary and how she took our petitions to Jesus. And we started doing novenas with the kids and my faith life just blossomed. And so for the past two years, I, it's, I, if I could teach religion all day, I would teach religion all day and forget math, well not really forget math, but um, it's, it's just been a true blessing um, to have my faith enriched as it has been. Um, now going back to the students, I see a huge difference in the way they approach religion. It is not a subject like math and science and social studies. It is a part of our day. We say daily um, Divine Mercy Chaplets or a daily rosary. We talk about the saint of the day. We talk about 
um, how those saints relate to our lives. And when we get a month or two in the school and the kids are relating things to from the saint of the day to a saint that they heard about a month ago. And it's the connections they're making are just fantastic. Um, last year I did kind of an exit slip at the end of the year and I had the kids write down what is the best thing about religion this year. And several of the students said that they loved learning about things they didn't know about before. And they it looked forward to going to religion or not going to religion, but it's time for religion now. It wasn't open up your religion book, turn to page 35. They knew they were gonna be really getting something out of it. And it just warmed my heart to hear that. Another thing that I just looked at in my classroom today was I have different quotes from my students on my wall. And as we walk through and we learn about the different um, vices and virtues, they will have a question on a quiz at the end of the week. What does um, temperance mean to you? And they write it down. And as I'm reading through their papers, I always try to pick one or two that are just out of the mouth of babes. These kids just think of in ways that we as adults don't think of. It's just a pure, this is what temperance is. And it's a beautiful sentence. So I'll write it on paper and I'll have them sign it on the bottom and they're in my room. Um, so it's just making me aware that by my faith coming alive, I have inspired these kids to enjoy their religion and pray in front of the monstrance on Tuesdays when the monstrance is um, set out for us to adore and worship after mass. We go up, we kneel, we pray for a couple minutes and it's just beautiful to see them. I've heard parents tell me that their students have taught them they didn't know about uh, pusillanimity and it's a word I never knew before this year and they can give examples of things like that now or I had a student's grandmother who contacted me last year and said I was in the grocery store with my two granddaughters and the daughter that's in your granddaughter that's in your class looked at her sister and rattled off something about she wasn't being very prudent and I was just, you know, she's using it in her everyday language. So it was just really awesome to hear something like that. So I think over the past couple of years, my faith life has just been so enriched by the people I'm around, by the examples that they are setting for me, by the lessons they are giving me. I've been enriched by my students. Um, and recently I, I decided that I needed to make some kind of a change. And my husband looked at me and said, well, you know, you could go teach at a public school. I'm sure they're hiring. And I said, no, I can't. I need to teach the faith. I need to stay in a Catholic school and I need to not be pusillanimous and keep that, um, that gift from God of teaching and teaching the faith to myself, but I need to share that and um, be magnanimous, which are two things I wouldn't have been able to tell you about before this year or last year when I learned about the virtues and the vices. So, um, so my students have been my inspirations, my friends, the people around me. So I don't know, that's my story.